All right, Screaming Demons RC, SDRC, over at the compound. And I've got the Losi Pro Moto MX. And this is a fresh build. I just put all the Vitavon goodies that I could. Everything they had in stock at the time of I, when I ordered. And I pretty much got everything. I'm only missing a couple things. I think I'm missing the chain. I'm missing the servo saver. I'm missing, oh, what else? What else was it? Oh, the, the gear cover on the side over here. I'm missing that still. I'll get that, though. Uh, I think that's maybe about it. If, if there's anything else, I'm just forgetting it, I guess. Um, oh, and I think, uh, no, no, that's it. But anyway, we're going to give you guys the first look and the first test. I'm going to test it. You're going to see it. There's that new caliper, rotor, fork leg. I think they call them fork lugs, actually. Triple clamps. Got the skid plate on the bottom. I got the front skid plate. I got the crash protector. I've got the servo saver at the top there, which has your gas cap, faux gas cap. I've got the bulkhead in there, which is just a beautiful piece, thing of art. Beautiful piece. There's that there's that uh, skid plate. I've got the uh, linkage in there. Get it out of the sun, it's too bright, you can't see it. Uh, pull you over here in the shade. So yeah, we've got that linkage in there. We've got the swing arm. We've got the chain guide. Oh, flip it around. Uh, on this side, we've got the uh, rear rotor. It doesn't work, but it looks good and it's metal instead of that plastic one, that chrome plastic. Yeah, she's looking good. All right, we're going to get some action for you guys. There's that other fork leg or lug, whatever they call them. Beautiful pieces. There's those triple clamps on this side. Have a look in the depths. Oh, yeah, he's ready to go. He's looking. He's looking mean. All right, let's get on the track. All right, we fired up that flywheel. We're gonna test it out on 75% power right at first, and then we'll bump her up to 100% in a couple of minutes of driving it. I haven't driven for a while, so I might end up laying her down. Feels good. I think I could probably bump her up to 100% pretty much right away. I don't think it feels like it's bogging out or anything because of all that weight. And so the weight was an extra three, or sorry, 0.3 of a pound. That's what it was. I'll have to give you the numbers again, uh, or you can watch the video, the build. I give all the numbers in that. Oh yeah. I think it goes good, actually. It uh, get, gets good traction now. It's got definitely some weight planted now. Let's try and pull a berm in front of here. Yeah. All right, well, let's uh, bring her over this way carefully. I'll take it that way. Oh. Come on, buddy, get under control. So I... I didn't know how that front end would feel because I changed the, um, there was supposed to be silicone fluid in the neck between the bearings and the stem there in the uh, original and the stock. And it was like, I believe someone said 2 million weight. Oh, those front brakes look good now. Oh yeah, I'm stopping right good. I'll have to check and see if they're sticking. I'll bring it back to me. Okay, I'm going to bump her up to 100%. Oh, and I'm going to crash. So, hold on. Okay, so, I bumped her up to 100%. And she rips, definitely. She's got good traction now. I think my front brakes are sticking maybe a little bit. Let's bring it in and check it out. Okay. Check out that front wheel. Is she sticking? No, not too bad. It does seem a little high. I could probably back it off a bit.
All right, we're gonna go again. Probably was recording all that. Yeah, this bike is so easy to drive. And with that bite of on parts, it gave it more stability. Oh, I just bogged out. Here, let's pick up the camera and walk over this way. Maybe I can uh, record while I drive just it with it in my hand. All right, let's go. Oh, big bail over the over the rail. Ah. Uh. Just shut down that flywheel we're letting her wind down i want to check my battery think she's getting low we are rallying her pretty good just biffed her hard pretty hard so i was gonna stop and check it out anyway i'd let her shut down check it out what i wanted to check was before when i ran it she used to get pretty warm oh wow nice you can't even feel any heat now that uh aluminum is sucking all the heat out of that yeah nice nothing's even warm down there anymore before it would get hot where the flywheel is in the, in this casing here even the plastic would get warm i think all that uh heat is being dissipated by all that aluminum in there now score right on that's one thing i was really hoping it would do and it's doing it so that's a bonus right there keeping it running cool i'll have to take this to the big shop blast it off the air she's kind of dusty and dirty but i'm going to check out the uh, voltage on the battery Everything worked good. Uh, the brakes, let's see how they're doing right now. Oh, there's a stick stuck in there, so that ain't helping them being unjammed there, that's for sure. Uh, get that out. So yeah, they're hanging up a bit, but I'll adjust that. I'll adjust that in the shop and see if I can get rid of that. Anyway, I think we're gonna end it there on that. You'll, there'll be many more videos on this uh, Promoto with these parts here. Everything's holding on good. Chain guide's all there, still strong. Right on. Everything looks good. Did I scratch her up? Nope, no scratches anywhere, nothing even. Right on. Oops, 
right on man super stoked all right well that's the end of this video so hopefully you enjoyed that screaming demons rc sdrc until next time thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe throw me a thumbs up and leave me a comment we'll talk to you later screaming demons rc sdrc we're out